Hi, I'm Larry Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I browse around Pinterest looking for amazing pins and crafty ideas from bloggers and crafty people from all over the world and bring them to life each week on an episode here on my craft channel. Today we're going to be talking about crafting with fall leaves. I mean, it's fitting. It's starting to get a little cool outside and we've got the change in, the leaves changing and whatnot and the craft stores are filled with them. So let's start off by going to my pin board. It's just called Seasons Fall. Of course, I have one for each season. And um, since fall, it should be a holiday. Personally, I'm a big fan of fall over some of the other actual holidays. But let's start off with some really fun pins I'm, I want to share with you today. And as always, you can go to my blog, allreddesign.net, to see any of the pins mentioned in today's episode and link directly to them. So from the, my pin board, I pulled out some that I absolutely love. The first is gingerbreadsnowflakes.com. She shows just some fun ideas using actual fall leaves. And a way to preserve them is simply coating them in Mod Podge. Who knew? I thought that was a really fun and creative idea I had never really thought of. The next one is just a really fun um, idea using whether you use the silk kind or the real kind. I think it both would work. Um, it, it, they're just leaf jars. It's from thebudgetdecorator.com. Super simple, easy. Put a tea light in that and it shines through the leaves. I thought, what a cool way to decorate with. Then we start getting into some of the pins that really caught my eye. The first is actually kind of a gilded or a gold leaf type um, leaf gold leaf leaf from youthareawesome.com and then she frames them and I, I believe she leaves them up all the time. I thought they were really cool when they were turned into gold. I gave my attempt at it. I didn't actually gold leaf it. I just gold painted it. I thought it turned out really cute with the light behind it. I thought that would be just a really cute fall decor to put on my shelf. The next one is one that I had to try. Um, it's from hellolucky.com and it's a leaf bowl and I had some trial and error on this one so I'll show you that one in here in a minute. Two more pins and then we're to, off to the projects. The next one is from that's what she said.com. She simply wrapped her pillar candles on display with a little burlap and some leaves similar to this and I just thought that was a really fun centerpiece I wanted to feature. And then one of my favorites, I didn't actually give it a try, I've done it before on other episodes, is actually these really cool autumn leaves, this would be a fun one to do with your kids, made with wax paper and crayon shavings. Super cool where you iron them together and it melts between and then cut out your leaves. Super fun idea, I think I will have to try that. So the back to the leaf bowl. Of course you need something to form it to. A balloon seems the most sensible. When I first tried this, it did not work. I thought, whatever. And then last night, it dawned on me what I was doing wrong. So these are all Mod Podged on. They're just silk leaves, inexpensive strand I bought at the store. The problem I was having is I had this really nice um, garland of leaves. I was trying to form them and they just wouldn't stay down. They wouldn't stay stuck to the balloon until it dawned on me. You can actually peel these leaves, that plastic backing that's on them. Um, you can actually peel them apart, which duh, didn't know that. And then all of a sudden my leaf becomes super pliable and I don't have that awful plastic to work with. So just peel those right off like that and you're good to go. And I thought these would make it a lot easier to do if you wanted to recreate that jar covered leaf. And if you're not using real leaves, do the same thing. Just peel those right off. Have a lot of fun. And paper crafters, if you're doing like cards, I would highly recommend you do this. Remove the plastic part so then it adheres to your card and it lays a little bit flatter than with the plastic. That's my brilliant tip I figured out. You're probably all sitting there going, duh. But then on the balloon, let, I thought I'd do the big reveal on the show. So let me grab a pair of scissors and see if it worked. Cross your fingers, it may not work. I didn't think to coat the balloon or anything. Oh, well, I'd say that was an epic fail. Hold on, maybe I can save it. Oh, I think it, it just hasn't dried all the way. I think I need to give it a little bit more dry time. I think it might work, people, those of you who doubted me. Just trim that up a little bit. Yeah, it's still pretty wet in the center, but I think once that dries completely, how cool is that? Oh, I'm, I'm excited about that. So just let it dry, maybe trim off this extra Mod Podge you've got going on here, and then you've got a really cool leaf bowl. Okay, I'm happy about that. At first I was a little skeptical. So now we know. Another really fun tip that I, I practiced around with and experimented are these really cool glittered leaves that I put on this cute just hoop 
wall hanging. The, I actually traced the welcome to our home um, on with a Sharpie. I've done a couple different ones like this and then just hot glued the really cool glittered leaves. Now that was probably my funnest. My husband always hates when I pull out the glitter. So I just took plates for my different colors of glitter and then pulled out my leaves. Look how awesome these turn out with a little glitter added to them. These red ones, stunning. I thought they'd be really cool on a garland as well instead of just left by themselves. I'm sure you can go to the crafts or you're probably all saying I've seen them done that way, but there's it's a lot more fun to do them yourself. So I wanted to just walk you through really easy. I like using the multiple colors. Um, these are all glitters, um, sugar coating, and it's they're fine. They have a chunky glitter that's awesome, and then they have these fine coatings. You can leave the plastic on for this. Um, it didn't seem to matter whether it was on or not. And then I simply just coated the whole entire leaf with Mod Podge, the front of the leaf, not the back. On the bowl, I did the back. Well, I actually did it all over. So, and a little bit of the color will lift, just FYI. So if you don't want to contaminate your big jar of uh, Mod Podge, then maybe pour it into a separate container. I'm one of those crafters who just doesn't think about that until I have red glitter floating around inside my Mod Podge container. But I have a few to pick from, some contaminated and not contaminated. So now that leaf had some really cool variegated color already. So I'm going to start with the, uh, let's do a little bit of green. This is, uh, who doesn't love glitter and Mod Podge and peeling it off your hand? So I'm gonna just do a little bit of green along the edge where I see green. Just a little bit on the tips. A little over here. And then I'm gonna shake that off. We're gonna start singing. And then we're gonna add the cool orange. See, even my glitters aren't looking so hot because this is what I do. I open them when I have glued hands. So I'm gonna do that all over this part of the leaf. The reason I love the plates is because then I can go back and put it back in its container and I don't lose my glitter as much. And then on this one, I really had a lot of fun doing this. So maybe your kids could help you glitter up some leaves. Got it along that edge, a little bit over here. Easy peasy, look how fun that is. I just love how these turn out how simple they are, how it just took up this kind of boring old leaf garland and made it look stunning. So and you can do something as simple as adding it to a frame like this. This is a dollar store frame. I popped out the glass. I loved, I just put a little bit of that, um, I don't even know what you call it, cardboard behind it. And I just love the look of that for a little shelf piece. And then to boot, I'm going to link to some of my favorite um, autumn printables. This cute one is actually designed by my friend Jennifer Gallagher. She does an amazing job. I thought that was cute. And I printed that out on my 16 by 19 on my Canon printer. And then uh, there's so many to pick from. So I'll link to some of my favorites right on my blog at allrightdesign.net. So hopefully I've inspired you to look at some fun ways to upclass your um, strands of leaves or even real leaves and decorate your home for the fall. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week.